OBJ will show again why he's special. Wide receiver one, free OBJ. Okay. Stephen A., I will start with you. Yeah. Uh, what does Odell need to do now? He needs to get the hell up out of Cleveland. That's my position. He needs to get the hell up out of Cleveland. Um, he doesn't want to be there. He's made it very, very clear he wants to be there. I do not condone his father chiming in on social media the way that he did. No, Odell Beckham Jr., that's you, bro. Nobody's going to believe it's just your daddy. Nobody's going to believe that. They're going to believe it's you, okay? And so that comes across as childish and immature, and that is not a good look for Odell Beckham Jr. But I do understand his level of frustration. He is absolutely positively miserable. His soul ain't even there to play some football with Baker Mayfield, okay? It's clear. Anybody that talks to, Baker, to Odell Beckham Jr., they'll, they, he'll tell them this. This is how he feels. And if you're the Cleveland Browns, okay, you have to understand this. One of the things that I pointed out, Keyshawn, and, and, and I wanted to throw this your way, because I said this to Jeff Saturday the other day and, and, and Swaggo and all of them. I'm like, listen, man, we ain't talking about just football per se. I know it's football. But I'm, that's not what I'm alluding to. I'm not talking about one's ability. I don't think this significant slippage on Odell Beckham Jr. I just don't think he wants to be there. He's miserable. And he's trying to get himself out. So, not quite like James Harden did <laughs> in Houston. <laughs> but something along those lines. Like, he's making a business decision. He ain't going up the middle catching this pass with this guy. Oh, throwing no, the ball. That, that, for sure it's, it's a business, business decision. decision. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's all I mean by that, okay? And because... He doesn't have faith in Baker Mayfield. He doesn't believe Baker Mayfield targets him during the game. You drop 42 points against the Chargers. You only targeted three times. The other day, you get targeted one time the entire game. The only th the most times you got targeted, I think you got targeted like eight times. That was in a blowout loss to Arizona. You just see some of it. You hear about stuff in practice where he ain't even catching passes. He ain't even get passes thrown to him in practice. When you got all of this stuff going on and it's that bad, it's about a relationship that's virtually non-existent between you and the quarterback. And when that happens, Keyshawn, when it's that bad, you can't keep a dude like that in your locker room. You got to send him elsewhere. It's one thing, like if Keyshawn Johnson, if you got a problem with the coach, yeah, you know, that's different. Yeah, that's different. you ain't got problem. You ain't got problem with the, the quarterback. No, I ain't you got, never had a you, problem with the quarterback. That's what I'm saying. If you're a wide receiver and you genuinely don't mess with your quarterback and he genuinely don't mess with you. And both of y'all got egos. And you watching this brother be celebrated, you don't think he deserves it. He damn sure don't want you to be celebrated because he's the man in Cleveland, <laughs> at least for the moment, in Baker Mayfield. That's just a time bomb waiting to explode if it hasn't already because Cleveland, let's face it, they're grossly underachieving. Yes. We all know that. And it has a lot to do with Odell Beckham Keyshawn, Jr. Can I, not being can I ask you this? Because I'm torn on this. Because part of me says, you know, there's a lot of things in my life that I wish were different. But you make the best of it. You show up, right? Yeah. And, and, and you don't yeah. cry. You don't get other people involved. But at the same time, they are wasting his talent. So where are you on this? Well, let me – I, I got you. But let yeah. me say something to Stephen A. real yeah. quick. I disagree with you, Stephen sure. A., about his dad. Okay. Can't control his father. Mm -hmm. I understand what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Yes, you convey to your family the way you feel. Not only that, his dad is sitting there. He raised him. He knows his son's body language and how he feels. He, he understands the game. He knows that his son is open. He watches just like us. So can OBJ go to dad and say, Pops, just chill, just chill? He can do that. Maybe he has done that, and the father is making a decision that I don't give a damn. You my baby. It's just, like, it's just like you and your family. Your right. sisters ain't getting ready to let nobody talk crazy to them I, about you. Question. I'm not talking about a tweet or a comment. I'm talking about compiling a video. Well, you can't. Social media. I'm just saying. Does you that, can't. But you does can't, that ring? He got a, first it's of a all, question. It's a question. Does that ring like that's something that you did without your son's knowledge or consent? It, it, I'm asking. To, to me, because okay. the okay. way I look at it, he's got a young father, man. He ain't got no dinosaur as a daddy. Right. I mean, Tom Brady's father went at the New England Patriots and the way they dealt with his son. He just talked. This is just the, right, but it's right, the way right. we live in right now, okay, though, Stephen A., okay, right? Okay, okay. Social media. Fair point. Back fair to point. your question, yeah. Molly. I had a conversation with OBJ, and this is the first time I ever shared this, mm -hmm. when I was out in L.A. and went to the Charger game. And I'm at watching it, and I'm watching his body language and everything. So after the game, I go down below, and I'm, you know how we do, Stephen A., we go holler at people. That's right. So I put, you know, as soon as he walked up to me, like, big bro. Said, you don't need to tell me. I get it. I see it. Yeah. Here's what I need you to do for me, though. If they don't move you by the trade deadline, 
Don't say anything. Just keep playing So you told football. him that? You told him 100%. Okay, okay. Just keep playing football. Right. Because eventually you're going to be gone. Right. This is the end of your Cleveland right. state. Yeah. They may not move you, right. even though they tried. The numbers didn't work out with the Saints because clearly we have information later on about Michael Thomas. The Saints must have knew something and said, we got to make a run at OBJ. That didn't work out. So what I told him is just at the end of the year, you are auditioning from here on out Absolutely. for other teams when you become a free agent. Because your cap number is going to be a lot large. They're going to probably try and trade you. It's not going to work. They're going to whack you. Yeah. And then you'll be able to go and pick a team where you and your skill set helps you. And it's not all about the quarterback in this situation. Mm -hmm. Baker Mayfield needs to target his receiver more. Right. And how you do that is by the design of the play, Stephen A. Mm -hmm. If I make you my first read and I put Molly over here to the right and you're looking straight ahead of me, I got to get you the football. But if I tell you with my scheme – to look at Molly, then look at OBJ, then guess where I'm going to probably throw the ball? I'm probably going to throw it to Molly. Right. But if I'm told to stay on you, then I'm staying on you. Mm -hmm. So I know what it looks like, mm -hmm. right? I know what it looks like. It looks like right. he's not deliberately getting him the football, right. but it's all about the targets. The targets you. is about the offensive coordinator you, quick, and play caller. I feel you, but a quick comment here. You and I both know, because we both know OBJ. We've spoken to him. Mm -hmm. Here's the deal. He don't mention Kevin Stefanski nearly as much as he mentions Baker Mayfield. I understand. And so what I'm saying to you is that I understand. I'm not challenging what you're saying I at understand. all. The only thing that I'm saying to you is you and I both know what you're saying he knows. So if you have a conversation with him yeah. and he's like, yo, big bro, yeah. it's, it's me and Man, this guy. I, the conversation I mean, is really deep, but I don't. I, I know. No, 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 I'm not asking you. No, I'm not asking you. Same here. Same here. You see me dancing. I mean, I mean there's certain things you just ain't going to reveal. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.